the air is a version of a custom knife I make. This is actually a little smaller than the custom. Some of the design is the same. The um, liners are titanium for lightweight and strength. The blade steel is M4. And on a small utility gentleman's folder, um, I feel like a Warren Cliff or a modified Warren Cliff is a, maybe a little better choice of blade configuration. Uh, you can clean fingernails and trim fingernails or you can open an envelope. Uh, but the M4 blade steel gives you the option of, of using it uh, in a heavy duty fashion. Uh, it's a very durable blade. It's flat ground which gives it a little more strength especially out on the uh, out on the tip even though it is uh, thinly ground it has some of the same design features that the uh, 134 had the Bradley the liners are proud to the handle material and that gives you a radius belly and spine without contouring the handle material. Uh, it's open where you can clean it. It has standoffs on the two screws where you can get in and clean the knife. Uh, it has a unique stop in that there is a pin through the blade and there is a radius cut in each of the liners and that stop pin tracks that radius that's in the blade. That gives you that totally round back of the blade. Nothing protruding out of the knife and when you open it and close it, nothing protrudes out of it. Um, one, of, one of the interesting things I find is the release for the uh, for the liner lock. There it seems there's a, a secondary cutout there. Or the, the that that was that is actually the primary release for it. Uh, no one, including myself, uses it. They use the access hole for the for the uh, opening hole. And on both designs that I've done, I have I have not used a full hole exposure there. I I'm trying to keep the profile as as low and sleek as I can, um, so it doesn't have the full hole, but that's actually the opening to release the, the to uh, be able to access that hole and the only time I ever use this or, or I see anybody uses it if, if they're having trouble releasing it back here you have a little more leverage on it there but nobody that I've seen uses that release and this one does not have a clip, so you design it does not a, have as a, a true clip. pocket knife. It is a true pocket knife. In Spider Co's survey on that, uh, it was 50-50. Half the people wanted clips, half the people didn't. So we were going to make half of them happy and half of them mad, whichever way we went. And we've talked about adding a clip later, but I don't know if that'll happen. Of course, I knew Sal and his reputation, so when he asked me to design a knife for him, uh, uh, that, was, that was all I needed to hear. We, uh, we to this day, have just a handshake agreement. Uh, he asked me if I wanted a contract, and I told him I did not. Uh, uh, I was in business for years for myself and other business, and the contracts just make lawyers rich. And uh, I didn't feel like I needed a, a contract with uh, Spider Cut. And I've actually turned down offers from two other companies to design the farm. And uh, I'm just not interested in being anywhere but with Spider Cut. <laughs> well, we're honored to have you on the team. Well, thank you very much.